all right party people it's your girl nicole denise and i'm shooting a quick intro for this little quick day trip that i took or i decided to take to macon georgia for starters make sure you subscribe to my channel comment below i like to interact in the comment section and let me know have you ever been to um macon georgia so yeah this morning i woke up had the urge i was like i don't want to be in the house and i don't want to be in my city really today because you know Sometimes I just get that urge. I be getting the urge, you know, I'm ready to road trip again. So I got the urge this morning. I was like, oh, I had looked up Macon like a couple months ago. And I was like, oh, let me drive to Macon because I know they have a, a Harriet Tubman Museum. Now, the name of the museum is the Tubman Museum, but it's not specifically just about Harriet Tubman. She has um, an exhibit in there, but it's also about other like historical black figures uh, that are native to Macon, Georgia, as well as just other historical facts and stuff like that. It's a really nice museum. But anyway, so I decided to get up. I decided to take a day trip. Um, and here is what I saw. <laughs>
I'm back. I have done my um, trip of the museum and my, uh, you know, watch saw all the exhibits. I'm kind of tripping over my words because I don't really know how to feel about what I just experienced. You know, it's Black History Month. Um, I enjoy museums in general, but it was something it was kind of like, especially when I got to the uh, Harriet Tubman exhibit section like they had like a life-size figure of her made and it almost felt the only word I could think of was like very eerie you know and not eerie like I was afraid or I was scared but it felt almost very like spiritual you know and I was just like all I could say was thank you like I looked at her statue because it's like something about learning about someone in a history book versus like seeing them and i know it's not her for real but like seeing a life-size form of this person it really like really made me remember and um help me not forget like this is an actual woman who went through all this shit in america you know but she was the epitome of a strong black woman and that kind of strong black woman i can get behind not this one that they try to preach to us or try to make us you know basically burn out nowadays but like her strength just something about seeing her life-size figure and like her strength was like very it was very sacred it felt very like spiritual to me in that section like i literally all i could say audibly was thank you because it was just like wow i said that too a couple times like wow 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 coming to the realization like Nicole this is a real woman like I always know it was a real woman but something about seeing that figure of her I'm like she lived a life just like I'm living a life <laughs> and she made these decisions and choices with the card she was dealt and went down in history books it kind of it was inspiring but it was also very like eerie slash eerie in the sense that she had to go through all that foolishness because she was a black woman in America you know but sacred because like she played her hand that she was dealt you know and she did it like unapologetically so that that's what it was that was all the feelings that i was feeling so yeah i definitely recommend it it was only ten dollar admission which is nothing and that's just regular admission if you're a student if you're in the military if you're an educator if you're over 55 um they discount it like from eight dollars to five dollars so i mean it's really a good investment to look at a piece of your history. I think my favorite part of the whole museum was um, the music section, of course, because I'm a music nerd. So sitting down and watching a film about Otis Redding, seeing the exhibits about Little Richard and um, James Brown, you know, I really, I really enjoy it. And that actually picked my spirits back up because it was right after I went to the Tubman exhibits uh part so i don't know it was just really weird and i didn't want to be triggered because i saw tubman's um section of the museum right after i was like by a physicians for color only like waiting door and then the whites only fountain and then you know seeing the ball and chain that they had like slaves chained to and uh the inmates and stuff like it was a lot of stuff i didn't take pictures of i just kind of took it in because it was just like oh gosh <laughs> black existence in america has been a thing you know like a it has been excruciating <laughs> you know but and i guess because i'm doing this during black history month i don't know it just bought out a lot of emotions you know i probably journal about it later but overall it was a very beautiful museum 
I love the exhibits. I like the artwork that they had from local artists as well as, you know, um, it was a lot of talent in the building, but it was something about seeing that historical figure in life size, Harriet Tubman, that really like, I don't know. <laughs> It made me view and feel something that I've never felt before when it comes to black historical figures that I learned about in books. You know? Yeah. But anyway, that's it. Comment, subscribe. Tell me where I should go next. Um, yeah, I'm ready to hit the road in my car. So tell me where I should go next, where I should visit. And let's keep it interactive in the comment section. Until next time, peace out.